Hey True Believers, this is Dr. T and welcome to my comic book channel. Today I'm going to go over for the first time in over two years the top 50 comic books in my collection. Stay tuned. The last time I did this was in March of 2021, so it's been a while, and I have added a number of books to the collection that were not part of it over two years ago. And let me also insert that the order of these books, 50 down to one, is in order of value. I recently looked up on GPA the last sales of all of these books, not 90 day average, but just the last sale to give me a ballpark idea. So it is in order of value. So let's get right into it. X-Men number 268, fantastic Jim Lee cover in a 9.8. X-Men number 25, the gold variant from 1993 when Magneto rips the adamantium out of Wolverine's body. You can kind of see, the, oh, there we go. There's the hologram right there, fantastic. Here is Wolverine volume three, number 66, the first appearance of Old Man Logan and the start of the Old Man Logan storyline, my favorite story ever in Marvel Comics. Here is Wolverine Limited Series number three from 1982, signed by Chris Claremont. I picked this book up just last year and sent it in for the Claremont signing last year. And there's the nice Wolverine custom label. I wish they had not retired this one. Here is X-Men number 130, the first appearance of Dazzler in a 9.4, great copy. Here's a DC book, Showcase number 37, the first appearance of The Metal Men. This is a nostalgic book uh, because it is something my dad would have read back in the 1960s. He remembers reading Silver Age Metal Men comics, and I've had this book in the collection for probably a decade. Here is Thor 338, the second appearance of Beta Ray Bill. Love me that cover swipe of Thor 126 with Hercules on it. And here's the cover swipe of Beta Ray Bill and Thor. Just recently, in the last couple months, picked this up. Marvel premiere number 15, the first appearance of Danny Rand, the Iron Fist, in a very nice higher grade 8.0. This is a crispy, sharp copy of this book. And I've been wanting this book for a really long time, so I was really happy to add this to the collection. Here is the variant cover of X-Men number 25. And in a 9.6, pick these books up, books up. The gold variant in this one, I picked them up raw probably four or five years ago. Got them graded just last year or the year before in 2021. These were not part of the collection when I did the last video, and there's the nice wraparound cover. Great variants of, of X-Men 25. Here is X-Men 95. So 94 is the issue directly after Giant Size X-Men 1, and then here is 95, so the third appearance, essentially, of all of these significant X-Men characters in a nice, respectable 8.5 grade. And in this issue, it is the death of... Of Thunderbird. Here is the mighty Thor number 390. This is where Captain America lifts Mjolnir. They got the endgame finale battle with Thanos from this book right here, at least showing Cap lifting and being worthy to wield Mjolnir. Love this book. Bought it probably a year before Endgame even, even came out. But here, the good 9.8 grade of this uh, of this book, this great cat book. Masters of the Universe, Star Comics and Marvel Comics from 1986. Love me some He-Man and She-Ra. And absolutely love this cover with Battle Cat, Skeletor, and Hordak. Look at that. Love this book. And again, this is all in the order of the value of where these books are right now. And all of them have dropped over the last, right, over the last year uh, drastically. But 
still respectable prices compared to what I picked a lot of these books up. This is Black Panther number two from 2005, the first appearance of Shuri. I bought this book at a local comic shop in Utah for $32 and it ended up coming back a 9.8. This book has really dropped over the last couple years. I think the last sale of this book was about $233 compared to being over $700 over a year ago. Here is Marvel 2 and 1 Annual, number 7, first appearance of the champion Ty Ty Tycho Slateris. This is the favorite book of my dad's in this entire collection. This was not a book he had bought off the newsstand in 1982, but he did buy this book off the newsstand in 82, and then I picked up this in a 9.8 probably 6-7 years ago. Fantastic, sharp, crispy copy of this favorite book of my dad's. Journey into Mystery Annual Number 1. Not a great grade, but it is a nice looking cover. There's a spine there's a spine split up the bottom here as well as a slight detachment of the cover and this is every bit of 2.5, but it is a nice sharp looking covers there of this Silver Age book from 1965, the first appearance of Hercules played by Roy Kent from Ted Lasso. Hero for Hire, number one, a 6.5 grade, first appearance in 1972 of Luke Cage, one of my favorite Marvel Comics characters. What If, number 31, What If Wolverine Had Killed the Hulk, fantastic Wolverine book for all of you Wolverine fans out there. Great 9.8 grade from yeah, 1982. Wolverine Limited Series number two. Love this cover. One of my favorite covers. Love the custom label with it. And signed last year by Chris Claremont. Fantastic looking book. Submariner number one in a 6.0. I've had this book for years. Very good Silver Age book to have. And of course, the price of this book has dropped drastically since the since uh, Wakanda Forever has come out. Fantastic Four number 13, the first appearance of The Watcher. Great Silver Age book. Captain America 117, the first appearance of Sam Wilson, The Falcon. This was not in my video over two years ago, so this was added, just got it graded last, or got it or got it from CGC earlier this year after it took almost a year to get graded. Good, respectable grade, mid-grade at a 6.0. Love me some Sam Wilson. X-Men 109, the first appearance of Weapon Alpha, Vindicator, Guardian, and the first appearance of a character from Alpha Flight in comics. Love that classic Bronze Age X-Men cover. Death of Wolverine number one from 2014. Pick this up on the release of this book. Signed by Herb Trimpey and Charles Soule. Great, fantastic signature series book to own. Ultimate Spider-Man number one, the Dynamic Forces variant from 2000. I bought this book probably a decade ago, maybe a little more than that, in Las Vegas Raw. Had it graded just probably in 2021 or 2022, early last year. Love the custom label with this fantastic Spider-Man cover. I love the Ultimate Spider-Man run. Wolverine number one, his first ongoing series from 1988. Love that patch cover, Mandrapore story, with of course the blue tape. There we go. There's the full the full uh, pinup on the back there. Wolverine number eight, this great patch with Joe Fixit cover, classic Wolverine issue for any major or serious. Wolverine collector in any grade, let alone this crispy 9.8 grade that I bought several years ago. Hulk number one, 2008, the first appearance 
of Red Hulk. He actually appears in cameo on the last page, but Red Hulk's on the cover, so this is billed as the first appearance of Red Hulk, even though the first full appearance isn't really until issue two. But on the cover, first appearance. Here is X-Men 133. This is the, the lone CBCS copy in the collection in a 9.6 grade. It is unbelievable what the last sale of this book in a CGC 9.6 was. I believe it was about $500 if I'm correct on GPA. Wild. I did not pay that much for this book when I bought it probably back in 2015 or 2016. But a classic Wolverine cover. Huge book to have in the collection for a Wolverine fan. X-Men 129, first appearance of Kitty Fried and Emma Frost, the White Queen. Fantastic Bronze Age X-Men book. Captain America Annual number 8. The best part about this book is the cover. The story inside is, is, is pretty good, pretty good, but the cover is fire. Fire between Wolverine and Captain America. Classic cover right here. Stay with me. We have 20 books left. Here is Captain America 109, signed by Stan Lee. I bought this book probably back in 2010 or 11. Got it signed in person from Stan the Man at San Diego Comic Con. Beautiful placement. We even, we even had a box here when we submitted the book. My dad was with me. Beautiful Stanley signature right there. That is the type of signature you want or wanted from Stan. And this is just a fantastic book to have with, with, with Stanley's signature. X-Men 101, first appearance of the Phoenix in a very nice, respectable 7.5 grade. Bought this book raw. This was not in the video in my last uh, top 50 video over two years ago. But I had this book raw for several years and finally sent it in to get graded with a nice giant size X-Men custom label. Wolverine Limited Series number one, also signed by Chris Claremont with the custom label. I, the only book I don't have of these four is issue four with the green cover. I would have loved to have gotten it with the custom label, with the Claremont signature, but it's the lone the lone book that I'm missing in this set of four, but here is issue issue one. X-Men 141, Days of Future Past storyline, also signed by Stan Lee. I sent this in to get signed by Stan back in 2014. I have five books signed by Stan Lee, and I love every single one of them. Captain America number six, the variant cover with the Winter Soldier on it. This is signed by Sebastian Stan. This was a wild unboxing, which I have in a past video of mine. I could not believe it. I sent a, book, a universal grade in, a 9.6, to get signed by Sebastian Stan. I sent it in to be pressed. It came back a 9.8. That video is wild. You should go check it out. But yeah, I love it absolutely love this book and that it's signed by the actor who portrayed the Winter Soldier, a favorite character of mine. Wolverine number 66. This is the sketch cover of the first appearance of Old Man Logan. Pretty, pretty scarce book, I think. Quite hard to find, especially here in a 9.8. This is a really special part of the collection because I sent this fourth printing of the last Ronin number one to be signed by the last Ronin team. team. Six signatures, five remarks. But if you notice, I have every color of the four turtles. Donatello, Leonardo, Raphael, Michelangelo with Kevin Eastman signing in white with the white splinter remark. This is a stunning collectible to have. I have a number of, of Ninja Turtle action figures and to, for this to go with it with these colors and these remarks is absolutely fantastic. A real prize in the collection. Here is the companion book to the Captain America 6 variant cover. Here is the regular A cover but this one signed by Chris Evans. I got this back I believe in 2015 or 16 
as a birthday present from my wife. But to have both of those, the both of these first appearances of Winter Soldier signed by the respective actors Chris Evans and Sebastian Stan, these are two of my favorite books in the collection because I love the portrayal of these characters from those those actors. Thor 337, the first appearance of Beta Ray Bill, and I have some other Beta Ray Bill. That's a Beta Ray Bill number one that was released in 2021, signed by Walt Simonson in 9.8. That is Thor 350, just a great Beta Ray Bill cover. I've already shown you Thor 338, second appearance of Beta Ray Bill, and here is 337. Bought this book several years ago for a lot cheaper than the book goes for now. So 10 more books to finish off the top 50 books in my modest comic book collection. And I mean modest. This is not huge. This is not small. It's just a modest, moderate collection that I absolutely love to pieces. Here is Fantastic Four number 49, the first full appearance, essentially, of Galactus and the second appearance of the Silver Surfer. Great classic Fantastic Four Silver Age book right there. You wouldn't think this next book was valued more than Fantastic Four 49, but according to the last sale, as of right now, it is. And a 9.6 grade, but there is the Stanley signature. I thought about sending this book in to also add the Todd McFarlane signature from the last McFarlane signing. I didn't do it. I potentially would, would like to do it in the future, the next time, in the next year, two or three, that McFarlane does another signing. But this book, the last sale was over $900, which is crazy, but it has so much to do with the, the demand for this book, this Hulk 340, but the fact that it has the Stanley signature, which my dad and I got in person, also back at the 2012 San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, the expert comics variant cover of Amazing Spider-Man number one from 2014, signed by Neil Adams, who did the cover art, and Stan the Man right there. Also, you wouldn't think this book would be more than FF49, but the la according to the last sale it is, the last sale of this book was, I believe, $988, and it has everything to do with these two signatures by these deceased legends. FF48, the first appearance of the Silver Surfer, cameo of Galactus on the last page. Fantastic book to go along with my Fantastic Four 13, first appearance of the Watcher. As a Watcher fan, love having these books. As a Galactus Silver Surfer and Fantastic Four fan, to have these books in the collection is amazing because I paid a lot less than what these books go for now, even with them going down over the last year or so. Fantastic Four, number three, in a 4.0 grade. This is the UK edition of this book. And an interesting thing about UK editions, they were released the same at the same exact time as their US counterparts. There was no delay in the release. Same month, same year, and everything. So this book released in, in March 1962. This is a significant collectible in the collection. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number one, third print from 1985 in a high 9.4 grade with white pages. But check out that Kevin Eastman remark of Shredder, which I requested Shredder, and he did it for me, which was fantastic. And his signature loved loved the color, the blue, the blue uh, pen that he used to do that. I didn't request the particular cover, but the metallic nature of that signature and remark are fantastic to go along with with Shredder. Absolutely love this book. Here is Avengers number four, the first Silver Age appearance of Captain America, Steve Rogers, the all-American hero in a 4.5 but restored grade signed by Stan Lee in August of 2014. I sent this in to get signed at the time. It was my book raw that I had sent in. Restoration includes color touch, pieces added, tear seals, and the restoration is apparent. I was too ignorant back in 2014 to realize that, but now I have the eye for it as I've studied 
how restoration works and what restoration looks like, but it is apparent. But there you have a really fantastic Stanley signature right there on the cover. And I love having this book in the, in the collection for sure. Restored or not. Picked up just last October, Giant at Baltimore Comic Con, Giant Size X-Men number one in a 4.0. I was amazed in disbelief that I was able to add this book to the collection finally. But really, really proud to have this book in the collection as a huge X-Men and Wolverine fan. The next book I'm going to show you, I have a video of from last year. I had I bought this book off, off the rack at a local comic shop back in 2011 when it was released for, for the cover price, $4. I did not know where this book was for years. I even, to be honest, I forgot that I even had it until I found it, I think, three Thanksgivings ago in a box in my parents' attic or the rafters above their garage essentially i sent it in and this is what it came back as raw after not knowing remembering that i had it four dollars off the newsstand of course not the newsstand copy but ultimate fallout number four direct edition in a 9.8 grade with the custom miles morales label big miles fan love having this book of course the value's gone way down but this book is still going from anywhere from 1700 to nineteen hundred dollars and i am if i hadn't bought this book for four bucks i don't know if i ever would have been able to pick up this book and then number 50 in the collection hulk 181 the first full appearance of wolverine in a 4.5 this book with a press and a clean very much very very easily could be bumped up to a five 5.5 probably not six but probably in that five 5.5 5 range with that clean and press could not believe still in disbelief that i'm holding this book and that it is part of my collection well there you have it true believers the top 50 comics in dr t's collection thank you for watching and as always remember comics for life <laughs>